nothing better than fresh bread, butter, and Vegemite. Vegemite's one of those things that, if you're not Australian, you kind of like don't get it. But most Aussie kids are eating this. Today's Q&A, how do you go in deeper on your partner without hurting your hands? This is a question that's asked a lot. Let's get into it. Mm. For the couple that are just starting out, your hands hurt most likely because you're just simply trying too hard and you haven't found that flow state yet. But don't be discouraged because this will come in time and with a little bit of practice. But if you want to get there a lot faster, this video is going to cover a few tips to help you get there a lot quicker without hurting your hands. To go in deeper without hurting your hands, we need to become a pro at relaxation strokes. Now I know this sounds counterintuitive, but bear with me just for a moment. Let's start by checking this clip out. How good did that look? I don't know if you noticed, but did you see Emma's reaction to my massage? She was chilled out, she was relaxed, her shoulders were down, she was flowing with me. You could see the connection was pretty intense, it was really good. Now, this is 100% relaxation strokes and it still looks good. You see, the problem is in the beginning, we all go in way too deep. This happens in the workshops all the time. It even happened to me when I first started out massaging. The solution is knowing your relaxation strokes and using that for the majority of the time and then just using deep tissue a small fraction amount. And this takes me to the next tip, the 80-20 principle. Coffee? Use relaxation strokes for 80% of your massage and then deep tissue for just 20% of it. And this is a great strategy to follow when you first start out. It's a really clever way to save your hands and stop them from hurting. It kind of like pulls you back from just going deep 100% of the time because that is our natural instinct. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Does this mean that it's not going to be a good massage. No, actually the 80-20 rule or principle makes for the most amazing massage. You see the body, it gets bored real quick when you just use the same level of pressure. And especially if you start deep from the very beginning, the body gets used to it and it craves different levels of pressure to stay interested. So following the 80-20 rule is a really, really good idea when you're first starting out. Now. When you get to the point of, you know, I'm comfortable and confident with my hands, then you can start experimenting with different types of ratios. Maybe 50-50 works for you. Whatever you need to use to let your hands last the distance. But when you're first starting out, 80-20 works real well. Let's have a chat about the 20%, the deep tissue stuff. Now, it might not seem like there's enough deep tissue in your massage to satisfy your partner, but there really is to start off with. See, when I go deep, I go deep on very concentrated parts of the body for short amounts of time. And this obviously saves my hand, but I don't really have to work hard for it to keep that release happening throughout my entire massage. I call my deep tissue stuff a meanie. And I'll go in and I'll be like, nice and tough in certain spots, like knots that are found right here. And I'll go in and beat this guy up for just a few seconds. And then I'll introduce a sweetie. So my meaning comes in for a few seconds here. And then I bring in the sweetie and I just release that and wash away that pain. 
my hands are not working too hard for it. But that feeling, that release feeling, that continues in my partner's body even after I've initiated my relaxation techniques. And this is about working smarter, not harder. Look how deep I'm going. So I'm starting with the pads of my thumbs, nice and light, slowly getting in deeper. Now I'm using the tips of my thumbs to really work it through. There's a lot of pressure going on now. Look at this. It's very deep. It's a huge release. Try not to flick. I'm just holding up to the barrier and then I always wash out that pain. Whenever you go this deep, you need to wash out that pain. It's kind of like being cruel to be kind. Right, just to wrap up, to go in deeper, we need to use relaxation strokes. That allows our partner's muscles to relax, which means that we can go in deeper with less amount of effort. Ultimately, our hands last the distance. If you're just starting out, think of the 80-20 principle, focus on your relaxation techniques, nail them down. Contouring is simple to do, it feels amazing and then start getting in deeper in areas of tension. Now obviously we haven't covered where the areas of tension are. We do in the Melt video series, go check that out. But also intrinsically, you kind of already know where these areas of tension reside, if you just think about it. Like we all know that we're sore here and that feels good when we massage. Also, we get sore and tired at the back of our neck. We get sore and tired in between our shoulder blades and the spine. The good thing is, massage isn't rocket surgery. On a healthy body, we all have knots in pretty much the same areas and same places. So once you've got your relaxation techniques down, all you need to do is know where these areas of tension are and then what to do with them to help release them. And now we've got the whole package. We're not going in deep from the very beginning. We're priming the muscles up and then we're releasing the knots and supplementing that with relaxation techniques. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this has helped, if anything, strategize how you should be compiling your massage routines. So you're not just doing deep from the very start. Remember, we are always warming up the muscles. We always want to get our partner to that relaxed state before we go in deep. And then when we go in deep, we're deep on focused areas of the muscles, not the entire length of the muscle, but areas of tension and where knots are. Guys, that's enough from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon.